That's not a real. Um, she pooted. He eventually gets a conversation with Dusty Rhodes where he says, all right, I'm going to have you win the world title. You're going to beat Vader and then Rick rude. And dusty wanted him to sign a four or five year contract extension, which he was in favor of doing. But then this whole incident happens and the Starcade 93 main event where Sid was supposed to win the world title from Vader is changed and flair takes the spot. Flair beats Vader and Sid's gone. Uh, Eric Bischoff tells Sid that a lot of guys were threatening to quit if Sid was brought back. So he was released. We touched on the incident earlier. Is that the way you heard it? That Arn had a lot of friends in the company. Sid did not. And it came down to, we got to go with the boys on this one. It's just good business. And also I think that people looked at Sid, Sid was the aggressor in the whole deal. Sid's the one that went to the room and damn near killed another employee of the company. So uh, that's just a good business decision in my thinking. But also if you've got all the talent saying, Hey, we don't want him here. It's not going to work. Nobody's going to want to do business with him. It's not good for him. It's not good for anybody else and let him go. He goes to the USWA after this on July 16th of 1994. Uh, He wins the USWA title by forfeit over Jerry Lawler. Uh, And then of course, uh, Lawler beat him in February to win the title back. And Sid leaves the company. And Sid says that Vince called him around this time about coming back to the WWF. Uh, Chat me up here. What you remember about February of 95 and how this guy who was really a pain in the ass before is now coming back because now another pain in the ass named Bruce Pritchard, he's back in the company as well. So you can tell us about this. Exactly. And, and one pain in the ass who wasn't there for the other pain in the ass was like, well, what if we gave Sean a bodyguard to make people believe that he has a chance against this giant diesel? Um, I brought Sid's name up just out of I wasn't there. So I, I didn't go through all the shit that they had all previously gone through, but you could tell that Vince kind of had a soft spot for Sid and thought, well, yeah, that could work. Um, we'll bring him back and we'll see how the reaction is. We're not going to bring him back in the ring right away. We'll put him with Sean. Let's see how this dynamic works and we'll take it step by step. I don't know that there were any, big guarantees made to Sid. It was like, you want to work? You're not going back to work down South. I don't think they're going to have you. And if you want to make money in the wrestling business right now, the only place to do it is here. So let's try this. Let's, let's see what happens and and we'll take it on a day by day basis. That was the pitch. The rumor in innuendo is that you guys wanted to bring him in as psycho Sid. But Sid thought that was a rib on him over the Arn Anderson incident. But if you go back and you watch WrestleMania eight, Bobby Heenan even freestyles and says that gorilla had referred to Sid as psycho Sid to a reporter. So technically the reference to him being psycho Sid happened well before the stabbing incident, but allegedly upon his return here, he tells Vince. I won't be called psycho Sid. I'll be Sid vicious or I'll be Sid, but not psycho Sid. Now, of course we know we get there eventually. And when he makes a debut on February 20th, Sean introduces him as Sid. Was there ever discussion uh, that you know of here in 95 of calling him psycho Sid? See, I don't remember the psycho Sid came until after the stuff with Sean after WrestleMania when Sid attacked Sean, the idea Vince didn't like Sid justice because he felt that Sid justice was a baby face name. Right. I agree with that. So that's why we went with just Sid and the idea behind him being in Sean's corner was he was just bodyguard Sid and that was it. And the funny thing to me was throughout this whole relationship with Sean, it was a very interesting dynamic between Sean and Sid because here you got this big monster Sid. And I remember him like doing kind of fixing Sean's hair when Sean would get the coat on and fluff his hair out. And then he would help Sean tie his tie and put him all together. It was, it just was interesting. Here's this big nasty looking bastard taking care of, of Sean. And he really looked after him, which was, 
<laughs> was kind of funny in and of itself. But they had, I mean, they kind of clicked together. They really did. The uh, next day, February 21st, they're doing a heartbreak hotel with Sean and Sid. And they say, you could call Sid any last name you want and mention vicious and justice. Uh, Sid actually accompanies Sean to the ring for these matches, including WrestleMania 11, but he's not really doing anything. And then the night after WrestleMania 11, Sean and Sid are doing an in-ring interview talking about the rematch. Sean told Sid to take the night off and Sid attacked him and gave him three power bombs and diesel came out to Sean's aid and that turned Sean babyface and set up a Sid diesel program. That doesn't seem like the best idea. Sid and diesel. Uh, did Vince at this point, just think we got to fast track this guy. Look at him. No, it was eventually we saw getting to Sid and diesel, but we saw getting to Sid and diesel with Sean. What happened was at WrestleMania 11, that's the infamous Vince coming into the car with Pat and I and Shane and saying, God damn it. Am I the only one that sees we have a baby face on our hands? Speaking about Sean and he, we completely rewrote the entire summer, basically. Well, at least we rewrote the, the next three weeks in the car, uh, as we went to Poughkeepsie to do television where this was shot and Vince just thought we were battling an uphill battle, trying to make Sean a baby face, something that Pat and I had been preaching and told never to bring up again. So the easiest way to do it was get him away from Sid and why not let's make Sid, you know, the big nasty heel and have him kill Sean. And that will make Sean a baby face. Diesel comes out, uh, for the rescue and you immediately make that switch to Sid versus diesel. Uh, but it was, it was supposed to take longer. It was supposed to take longer to get there, but Vince felt it was an uphill battle and was going to hurt diesel. The more that he worked with Shawn Michaels, 